Hi, I'm McGaibo, and today I'm going to be solo filamenting into Null 6 space. McGaibo! Rod terms first. A filament is an item, it's actually a trade good in EVE Online that allows you to get from one place to another. And where that takes you and who it can take depends entirely on the type of the filament. If you want to find filaments, they're actually in the market under trade goods. And if you open it up, you can see the different types here. Black Electrical, Exotic Firestorm and Gamma are all types of filaments to take you to Abyssal Space, which is where you run those sites with about three different rooms and if you don't get out, you lose your ship and you get plotted. Within each type, you get Agitated, Calm, Cataclysmic and so on, and they tell you how difficult each site will be. Each of these different types will tell you the kind of damage that you can expect to see once you're in there. Then you get Triglavian inbound and outbound filaments, which will take you to Pochven, not Pochven, and the surrounding areas, and back again. The final type are jump filaments, which is what we're going to be using. And even within those, you get two different types. You get noise and you get signal. And then you get three different types of each of those. These are the filaments that will take you into areas of null sec space, zero zero space. The difference between the two is that a signal filament will take you to areas where there has been a lot of recent activity from pilots. Now what I'm going to try to do today is jump somewhere with a noise filament, because I'm just there myself, and see if I can make it back to Jita. So I've bought one Noise 5 Needlejack filament. And the ship that I'm taking doesn't have a cloak. Decided that on this trip I'm going to be using a Kikimora. You can't kind of spoil it for choice in what you want to use. If it's the first time you're going to do this, I would recommend something that could cloak, something that could avoid bubble camps. This is relatively cheap, but it's still got a good chance of getting out. Kikimori uses the Light Entropic Disintegrator and the different ammo types can affect the range and tracking. The Disintegrator is slightly different in that when it gets, when your target gets out of that range, it won't cause any damage at all. In fact, it won't even fire. Aside from that, I have got a Disruptor, Micro Warp Drive and a Medium Shield Extender, Damage Control, Two radiation sinks, which increase the amount, the effectiveness of the disintegrator, and a nanofiber internal structure, which increases speed and also agility. Rigs are shield rigs, which make the shield bigger and fill up, punch the EM hole in the shields. It doesn't have a drone break, and cap wise, it will last two minutes and 50 seconds. No implants, no augmentations, no boosters. It's going in cold. So there's my ammo and there's my filament. Now I've got two in case we need it for a longer adventure. So there's my filament and here's my escape route in case I absolutely need it, which is an extraction which will take me to Pushven and then back out again to Losek. And there's my ammo. So if we look back at the filaments in the market here, the noise filament has got this five next to it. That's the amount of people that could jump at the same time in your fleet. And there's the thing, for a filament, you must be in a fleet for it to work. But I'm just going myself. So how do you get around that? The answer is you right click your own name in chat and click form fleet with. And there you go, a fleet of one, a sad party. So to use the filament, it's best to create a safe spot first. This overview that I have isn't really that well suited to high security space because what it does is it displays every pilot as red. Not really useful in Jita, but absolutely essential if you're in null or low sex space. To use the filament, you open up your cargo, you right click and you just select use whatever the name of the filament is and you get this box quite often this box will tell you exactly why it can't activate the filament but hopefully in this case there's no restrictions in place now I can open up this window and we can see that I'm the only one in system 
And where are we? What you Paragon Soul. So because I'm in Nullsec, few things are different. Anyone can shoot me, no repercussions. I can't dock unless somebody's got Freeport and Freeport would be player owned structure that someone has elected to open up to everyone else, which is quite a rare thing to find in Nullsec. So what I need to do if I want to make myself safe is to create some safe spots. So I'll just pick a planet that's quite far away from me, type in safe spot one, and then when I'm about halfway to the planet, so about seven AU, I'll just click that. Now you can see here it's shown up in my locations, my first safe spot. And what I'm gonna do is bounce from here to a planet that's 25 AU away and create another safe spot. If you press F9, you can see on the solar system where you are. So here's the location of the first safe spot and here's the second one. So let's just make another one or two. Now this is kind of belt and braces because there's not even anyone in this system. But the advantage of making these safe spots is if I ever come back here another day for another reason, they're there. Now you can create the name of the safe spot as you're doing it, or you could do what I did there and just create it and then edit location. And just add it back in that way. Now creating the safe spots between the celestials, one thing. The way to create better safe spots is to walk to one that you've created and then walk to another one so this the straight line that you're traveling isn't between two celestials and it's less likely to be slightly more difficult to be scanned now i don't know if you know this but you can create the name of the um the safe spot before you travel and then just click submit boom and it will record the safe spot the bookmark at the point that you're at when you click the submit button so what's going on in this system you right click in open space you see anomalies it's got all of these combat sites that haven't been run and three or sites. Aside from that, shown up as red crosses are cosmic signatures, the ones that need to be probed down. I don't have a probe ship. But if you were to use this filament in your Astero with a cloak with a scanner, this is a great way for you to find sites, particularly if you use the noise filament and not the signal one. You could be here taking advantage of these sites. These could be relic sites or data sites, they could be wormholes, they could be gas sites, they could be combat sites. It's kind of sad when you see that Sigma grind set have got this area of space with all these anomalies and they're not taking advantage of it. There could be so much faction loot sitting here and it's just getting wasted. So my challenge is to try and get back to Jita. 82 jumps, okay. So I can tell by looking at this index here, the purple is null sec, meaning, meaning it's zero, zero space. These two little colored ones here are low security space, which then takes me to high security space. Let me just check. I've got a safer route here. That's what I've selected. If I change it to shorter, it jumps from 82 down to 46 jumps which is still quite long. The 46 jumps will take us through this far. All of these jumps will be in zero, zero space. Then again, we've got two jumps in low security space. All of this is high sec and one jump through out of everywhere, Abazon. That could wind up being the most difficult system to jump through. 
So because I've selected the system, it show me what gate I need to go to next. Now you need to make sure that your filter, I've got one called just ships. Oh, now we've got someone in the system. Okay, just keep moving. So what I need to do is make sure that just ships, which is this overview that I use for scanning has got All ships, scanner probes, so you can tell if someone's scanning for you, but also mobile warp disruptors, because you want to know if a gate's bubbled. Being a null means people can bubble gates, and these are warp disruption bubbles. If you get caught in one, it can pull you out of warp, it can pull you out of where you want to go on a gate. And these are obviously going to be problems for you. So that pilot that was there came into system and left again. I don't know how organized uh, this alliance is, so I don't know whether or not they've got comms that that pilot would have reported that back. That I'm here, I'd like to think that they would do. It's going to clear the content. So I know that anything that shows up in local chat now is new. So if we look at the map again, this is what I've got to go to, is a Stargate. Now historically, a Stargate that didn't have any Celestials around it would be a big problem because what I can't do here is walk to a nearby planet and then use the scanner to see if there's any bubbles there. There are no nearby planets. What there is, is nearby structures. So I could walk to one of those within a hundred and then scan from there. The fact that there's no one else in the system means that those structures shouldn't be firing at me. So just a little word on the ammo that I've got here. The T1 ammo for these precursor turrets, the disintegrators, is T1 ammo is Tetrion, which is minus 30% optimal range. So really for your brawlers. You've got Baryon, which is kind of an in-between. It adds on 10% to your optimal range. And then you've got Mison, which adds 80% to your optimal range and is for, for kiters. And as I mentioned before, if I put on the Mison, it takes me up to 46 kilometers. I'll not be able to shoot at anyone. Beyond that, there's no optimal range that goes, you know, 47 kilometers, or it's going to do less damage. There's no damage. That's my maximum range. Now, regardless of what range you're firing at, whether it's the Tetri on the Baryon or the Mison, the turret tracking's all the same, which is fantastic. The T2 ammo is Mystic, which it adds 50% on, uh, but the turret. While the damage has increased, the turret tracking is about half as efficient. An occult, which has lower turret tracking, but again higher damage and takes off 40% of your optimal range. So your T2 is more damage. So I'm going to stick with the Mystic. The other thing about it is, as you might have seen there, it swaps ammo instantly. So if you need to switch out because you've got a Hater instead of a brawler. It's very, very quick to do. So this system's clear. You can jump the gate. No way of knowing what's on the other side of a gate. I could be jumping into a bubble camp. There are four different gates here. So while they might know I'm in this system, they might not know where I'm going. So we jump and another empty system. This is the gate we're going to. And it's got no celestials around it either. So that it, could, it could be bubbled, but there's no one in system. It's not bubbled. As you're coming into scan range, like within 14 AU of the gate, you can hit scan and it would, it would have told me if there was a mobile warp disruptor there. Here we go. 
Alright, so now we have somebody in space. Nothing on scan. We're going to do it quick. I'm going to walk to the sun at 100. Okay. Nothing on scan still. So this guy could be cloaked, different part of the system, or he could be docked up. So I'm just going to align to gate AAGWF, which we see is near planet 5. So I'm going to warp to planet 5 at 70. Just keep scanning. Nothing here, the gate isn't bubbled, so it's safe to go through. Okay, we've got two people in system here. And it looks like the gate we need to go to is near planet 5, it's the same distance away. So we'll just walk there. Nothing on scan. Just gonna align to the gate. When I look at the locations, I can see the spots that are saved there. And unfortunately, what I did with them was make it so they automatically deleted after three days. So that's them edited. I've got them in my safe spots folder rather than my signatures folder, which is where I was saving them before. One last scan. Everything's clear, so we'll just jump through. Well, we went across the system then, there's nothing on scan. And it's not the larger system, so there was nothing there to fight. Now we're in an empty system. So I'm just going to walk directly to the next gate, which is something you really shouldn't do. But seeing as it's an empty system, it seems like there's less risk. Now somebody's just jumped in, but I've jumped out. Whoa, okay, this is a much busier system. Let's walk to planet six and create some safe spots along the way. Okay, we can see how the system's laid out here. And we can walk to one of these structures to create more safe spots. So we can see this pilot in a malediction, which is kind of interceptor. 2019 pilot. Number of goons. So I've walked back to this bookmark. Oh, now look at this. The Let's see if we can track down where they're likely to be. So nothing in 10 AU. Flycatcher, Malediction, and Vex are sitting back at 11 AU, which will be these uh, structures. Anathema. And Sabre, so they've got out a prober and uh, some bubbles. And the epithel's gone. So, what I'm going to do is walk to this bookmark, create some more bookmarks on the way. All the while scanning, see if there's anything useful. Remember that space is 3D. So it is going to be quite difficult to get a hit on this gate to see whether or not there's a bubble on it. And this green bubble that's moving here is the area that I'm currently scanning with my directional scanner. So if I, if I make that smaller, you can see the green bubble gets smaller. And you can see it's not touching this gate at all. So we've got a bit of a problem. As you can see that approaching this gate, everything's coming from roughly the same angle. Which means it's only going to take two, maybe three bu bubbles to catch everyone who's coming from here. 
everyone who's coming from here. How many gates from this system? Three. So there's one at the back, the one I want to go to, and one at the side. So you think that maybe they would be less likely to put a bubble where their own people are traveling from. So I'm going to try and go from the center of the system. Before I do that, I'm just going to check these structures again to see if any of those ships are still there. See, the fact there was about five ships out and about, and now I can't get any on scan, worries me because one part I can't scan is up here. So they probably are sitting up here. But there's nothing I can do about it. You know, they could have like, a saber sitting um, really close to the gate, so it doesn't matter where I come in from, I'm just going to hit the bubble. There's the Vexer. Now, Vexer's a drone boat, meaning that um, I might be able to hold him down and outrun him, but I wouldn't be able to outrun his drones. So I've got a straight out choice here kind of ships that they've been that I've scanned are perfect for trapping me. I've seen um, an interceptor which could lock me at the gate. I've seen uh, there was a saber which can put out a bubble. There was an anathema which could scan me down but I haven't seen any probes which makes me think that they're not planning to get me here. Maybe they're not planning to get me at all. Again, look at all of that. Now, there's an idea. Oh yeah. There's no celestials near me, but there could be uh, uh, near the gate, but there could be an anomaly. And there isn't. Look at that. All of those anomalies in system. None of them near the gate. Right, I need to move to another safe spot. So 0972G is what I want to go to, which just goes from 04T to 2L. No, I think I'm going to have to YOLO it. Now, if I was serious about keeping my ship, this would be a good time to do Porsche fan extraction. These filaments that would take me into Porsche fan space. On the off chance that these guys are sitting here with the bubbles and the malediction and the firepower and everything. It's only fair that I give them something to shoot at. They've been very patient. So a slightly awkward angle. There's no benefit to me walking to the gate at 100 here. If there's a bubble here, it's going to pull me into the bubble anyway. I'm just going to walk to the bubble and we'll see what happens. There's nothing on scan. So it could be that there's no one here, or everything's on the other side. Or both. No, the system's empty. All of that. Oh my goodness. So what I'm looking for here is ideally a system that's got a couple of people in it that are maybe at a celestial or an asteroid belt or running in one of these many combat sites. Preferably something that's already... Now, there's that chap that saw us earlier. Bounce down. And preferably something that's taken damage from an NPC already. You know, this system's slightly different because it's basically a, a conduit. It's a tunnel between two different places. There's not four gates. There's only two. When you come in, the one you go out of. So it's less of a mystery as to where I'm going. Same with this one. It's quite an unusual system. There's just two gates quite close to each other, and the rest of the system's really far away. Four gates here. This is more interesting. So let's get a couple of safe spots. Nothing on scan. There's the flycatcher. Flycatcher is an interdictor. That means it lays bubbles. 
So I've got myself some some safe spots. And what I've got just on the edge of my scan here is the gate that I came through. That's clear. So I've got a safe spot which should take in the centre of the system here. That's clear. If you walk to the safe spot that's near the gate. So there are three gates next to each other. If this is the gate that leads to Gita, I would imagine that this is the gate that's the most popular. So I'm going to jump through. There's no bubbles on scan, but there is one pilot remaining here, which is an alt. But when you get your rude shocks and null, and null sec, a lot of the time it's going through gates or approaching gates. So we'll jump through and we'll see where we're at. War bugs here. He's the fly catcher. So I'm near the edge of the bubble. So I should be able to get out of the bubble pretty easily. did manage to hit me and take away some of my shield and I managed to walk to the next gate and he's faster walk than I am but he shot me so he shouldn't be able to jump through the gate I didn't come here to run. So war bugs now jump through. Let's overheat this a bit because he's tearing through my shield. Right, he's, I'm outside of his range now. Meaning that, uh, sorry, he's outside of my range. Meaning that uh, I can't do him any damage. But he's also taking away most of my attack. So he's quite fast. What I really want to be using is the Mison, which is the good tracking and the good range. Still got that Ishtar on scan, no probes out. So what I'm going to do is just align to the gate. See if my shield can recover. Keep an eye out for probes. There we go, we've got three Celestials next to the gate that I want to go through. Sorry, three structures next to the gate I want to go to. So I can walk to any of these three structures. I can't tether. But it will allow me a bounce point to scan the gate. So my shield's 86% recovered, but it's my entire tank's the shield. This is like watching my car recharge. More and more ships here, but that's fine. If they're here, they're not at the gate. So let's just walk to one of these at 100 and tick bookmarks along the way. 
two fly catchers on the gate. Oh no, they're not on the gate. Oh, are they? One on the station, one on the gate. Now I've got a bookmark that's quite near the gate. So I can scan the gate. And the stations. Right next to, right near each other. Oh, this is interesting. Fly safe for me is enough. Fly safe for me is enough. We are too many now. I'm not entirely sure what he's meaning. But I think he means he thinks the game's over. He could well be right. Okay, so what I can do is the line to the gate, look at the gate, and do a scan, and do a narrow scan. See that the flycatcher shuttle and Osprey Navy issue are all right in line with the gate. So are the three structures. Still, they don't have any scanner probes out. So they'll know from their directional scanner that I'm within one AU of them. But do they want to keep wasting bubbles? See if I can draw them out. Last time I walked to Tax Me Harder Daddy, this time we'll try walking to Fort Kickass at 100. The flycatcher is 200 off the gate. So I should be able to jump through now. No, he wasn't. He was 1176. He was sitting on one of the stations. Lachesis? Okay. Right. I've come through. I'm cloaked. I'm pointing that way. So this is my best bet, is to walk to here at 100. Okay, I did not expect to get away. There's nothing on scan. The gate I want to go to is one AU away. So let's just jump through it. I didn't even see them try and get a lock on me there. So now I've wandered over into goon space. So Wallbug was part of Sigma grind set. Now I'm in goon space. So maybe that's why he stopped. This is some boundary of some kind. I'm now in period basis. It's nice when the gate that you want to go to is near the middle of a system. Because it means you're more likely to get it on scan. So, my quest to get back to Jita. I'm getting there. It's a 2010 pilot I'm in system with. He's in Praxis. Which tells me nothing. You could put almost anything on a Praxis. He's in one EU. So I'm just going to walk to planet one. Where's the belt here? One belt around planet one. But he could be running sights. Oh, there he is. He's next to a... Oh, he's walked off. Come back. He looks like he walked to this Blood Sanctum. From the... Jump Gate. There he is.
flag. Oh, it's too far away. He needs run off. Yep, I was orbiting at 22 and my disruptor range is only 24. So I'm going to change that back down to 17800 and then change this to the, the Baryon which will give good damage at that range. And Vax's pilot has run away. Should we go back and look for him? Oh, he's jumped, he's run! Dude! Alexis, with all those NPCs, disgrace to the goons. Push tar on scan. Within one AU. Within zero point three. I'm getting to that stage now where I just want to fight. So this character is two thousand seven character, same as me. Aaron. I think he's tethered because yeah he's on the Astro House. So I had to log off there and as I come back no one's probed me down. I'm still alive. There's nobody in system. Now I'd attack someone before which means I get a timer and during that timer if you log off people can still scan you down, probe you, and they'll find your ship and destroy it. That didn't happen. So it's back to getting back to Cheetah. It's clear that if you want to do this, and you don't have a cloaking ship, that you've got to put aside the time. There's no way that you can dock up. And a lot of these sim systems are empty. So I think I'm coming up for about halfway through my Nullsec journey. I'm still in Goon space. And again, look at all these anomalies in this system. Finally, another pilot. Oh, three drones. There's a mobile depot here. With drones around it and nobody else in system. So what I can do is pick up the drones. This pilot went out of local and then back in again. So he's either logged off and logged back in or he's jumped out of system. I mean, Sanch is a nation. So this is a kind of NPC null sec. I mean, stain. I've jumped across the system. I can't see that pilot. So I'm just going to jump through the gate. The next one. Now, NPC null, like where we're at at the moment, doesn't have the ESS in space. The ESS is structure that you can enter if your ship is a cruiser. It doesn't allow micro warp drives. And if you stay in there for a certain period of time, you can bank the money that's being collected by the people who are shooting NPCs in that area. We actually do have a free port here. Freeport is a player-owned structure that's opened, as I mentioned before, to everyone. And the reason I know that that's a Freeport is because I can see it on my overview when it, I'm not on grid with it. So that's fantastic if you need to tether to repair your shield or dock up to repair, or even to be safe or to log off. Yeah, we've got to keep going. Just bookmark that Freeport because even though you can see it on the overview, if I'm looking at locations from a couple of systems away, I can easily see that it's there. Okay, so we've got three people in system. I'm 15 AU away from the star. I'm open to the star at 100. Now, I shot that mobile depot a moment ago. It, it's almost like a mini structure. You can't just blow it up. You need to shoot the shield and then it goes into reinforced, which means that it's got a two-day timer. And once that timer has run out, you can blow up the armour and the hull and take what's ever's inside. I'm just going to add to my 
I'm just going to add to my Just Chips overview is mobile depots, mobile tractor units, and then they'll show up. And that'll give me a good idea of people have been around recently or if there's anything that I can pop yeah, because I shot at that mobile depot I've got the Capsulio log off timer again meaning I can't log off safely but also I can't use the Porsche van filament oh, we've got a saber which is another interdictor that means more bubbles So while the Sabre's here, at this end of the system, it's a good idea to jump through the gate that I need to that's at the other end of the system. Because the gate was 21 AU away. I could scan him, which means he was within 14 AU. Which means I should be able to get to the gate okay. Another mobile depot and scan. Nobody in system. That you really need a prober to get these. This would be more fun, I think, if I was flying something that I could cloak up in, like maybe a T3 ship or a Stratios or even an Estero, something that would allow you to probe as well. So yeah, like a, a T3. There's a Heron. Oh. Zod. If I'd warped to the sun at zero, I would have caught him, but I don't like warping to anything at zero, if I can help it. I think if you want to test yourself as a pilot, what might be a good thing to do is to see how long you can live out of one ship. If you can cloak and probe, then how long could you, how far could you go? How long could you stay in one ship? It would come down to ammo, really. You could do what I'm doing in a T3. Well, this Amicus pilot is just sitting at a gate. So that pilot and the amicus was just sitting at the gate, not paying any attention. He's a null sec. Now I've got to check partial safety here. Because I double check I haven't wandered into high sec space. And I'm guessing he's a new pilot. Yeah, three months old. This is how you, you learn. Now you can shoot mobile depots in high sec but you do go suspect, you don't go criminal, you don't get concorded. But what this means is, and I'll show you, you can't target it anymore once it goes into this reinforced state, but it tells you one day, 23 hours, 59 minutes, that reinforced state will finish, and then you can just shoot the rest. Now you know that you're going into low security space because the solar system's got a name. It's not just a bunch of numbers and letters. So I now no longer have to worry about bubbles. Now killing somebody in null sec doesn't affect your security status. You don't get a criminal timer or a suspect timer. But I'm now in low sec. And I can't use my filament again for another 13 minutes. So now I'm in high security space. Now, this is going to be the biggest issue. App is on. It's probably going to have two gate camps in system. It's the one low security system between Jeter and Amar, 
And if you avoid that, it's about 40 jumps, but it's about 11 or 12 if you go through Abazon. So this is what's happening right now in Abazon. So this is within the last hour or so. It's a Zed kill that I'm looking at. So you can see that there's a gate camp and it's very active. It's on the Shira gate. And I'll be going through Shira. I, this scares me far more than Nullsec does. So this is where I draw the line. And to be honest, this is where the Pushven Triglavian filaments are going to come in handy. So I'm going <laughs> to... There's no point trying to get through Abazon in something like a destroyer. He'll not align quick enough to make it through. In fact, I saw a couple of destroyers that had been killed trying to get through. So what I'm going to do is dock up and wait for this log off timer to finish. And then I'll use the push fan filaments. So my timer is up. Just need to get myself somewhere to use the filament. And I've got the added hazard of having some very cheap kill rights on me. So here's the posh vent filament. I'm at my safe spot. Just going to click activate. Now, th the thing about this is that using the filament triggers another 15 minute timer. So I've got to wait that out before I can bounce back to normal space. And this is quite a dangerous place to be because there's no local. And there's a lot of things trying to kill you. And there's a lot of Ishtars there as well. But there's also a few wrecks. So I'm just going to see if I can loot these wrecks. Koshven is a great place to get loot. And make money. I should focus on the large ones first. Keep an eye out. Because there's lots of ships surrounding and about me. Between 5 and 10 AU away. Now you pick up more filaments as well. So I do have a couple of safe spots from being in this system before. Now's a good time to take advantage of them. Another 11 minutes left. I think I might be able to dock. There are no stations here. So I just need to keep an eye out for probes. And there's the probes. There are the probes to scan down anomalies. It's combat probes that are used to scan down ships. So I'm safe just now. Just going to align to my other safe spot. And wait. So I've picked up a little bit of trick salvage here. The data caster. So let's fast forward the 10 minutes. Hopefully it'll be quite uneventful. So that's the timer run out. I need to use an extraction filament, which will extract me from trig space and take me to a system that's been invaded by trigs in normal empire space. And look at that. I'm only eight jumps away from Jita. That's not bad at all. So let's keep moving because I don't want anyone to notice the kill rights that are available on me. I've only got one public one and it's 25 million. Three more jumps. So this challenge is very much about adapting your own piloting skills, extending them if you don't already have them and learning about how to navigate around a solar system in a way that you can Give yourself new bookmarks, new safe spots, an approach that you can take that will allow you to identify any hazards in space and how to avoid them. You've got to keep an eye on the directional scanner to know whether or not you're being probed. And despite being deep in null space, I don't think I was probed once. Perhaps they just thought there was no threat. Maybe there just wasn't that engagement and activity there. And you can tell by the local chat, I'm back in Cheetah. 
So I'm not warping to the station, I'm warping to a mark I've got at an insta dock part of the station. And when my warp starts, I hit autopilot. And what that'll do is, as soon as I get to my bookmark on the station, it'll get me to dock up. I'm not going to fall short at the docking range. I'm going to get straight in there and just automatically get docked up. So there's a run through filaments to null sec about 40 jumps back, bounce from trig space to get back to low sec in empire space, and then half a dozen jumps back to cheetah. We got a couple of fights, one kill, picked up a bit of loot on the way. It was a good couple of hours, good bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you maybe picked something up, and I hope you give it a bash, let me know how you get on. I'm MacGyver, thanks for watching, I'll see you again next time.